I made one million villagers worship me. <laughs> Our new gods have arrived! Lead us! What? Find each other, fam! So these guys are gonna do whatever we want? Alright then, gather us wood. Wow, look at them go! They're like ants! Done already? Uh, now build us a town hall! Wow, not too shabby. Upon this rock, we shall build our new home. Is that balloon lurking around? Bruh, what's wrong with this guy? Always up to no good. <laughs> Bam! Look at these guys trying to escape. I guess they weren't too happy about Varun messing with them. What the hell is that? I guess that explains why the villagers have been trapped on this island. All this building must be making these guys hungry. I know, let's eat dirt. Why don't we just build a farm? Fine, I guess that works too. Oh no, bandits! They're killing our guys and stealing the food! We can't let the villagers keep stealing from each other. We need laws. No, fam! That's so lame! It'll take all the fun away! Hmm, you both have a point. I know, let's have the fewest laws possible. On this scroll, we will write our laws. One, no stealing. Two, no killing each other. Three, <clears throat> worship is in mode. Cool, we good? What the hell? I don't want to obey your stupid laws, fam. This won't do. Here, you guys are now our police force. From now on, breaking the laws is punishable by death. Now, obey the law and worship me. Zen mode, zen mode, zen mode, zen mode. Huh? Did you just mispronounce my name? Execute him! Are you mad? You just killed an innocent villager because he mispronounced your name? Yes sir! Yes sir! Yes sir! Yes sir! No, I don't want anyone to praise me or this guy. We're all equals. Why should they worship you guys? They should worship the strongest, me. Boring! Let these people do whatever they want, fam! Chill! Let's just ask them. Who do you guys want to follow? After that, we signed a peace treaty and split up into four different countries. I don't know about the others, but in my country, my followers have to worship me. Oh, you shouldn't have. Hey, they're saying it, not me. And that poor Kraken. He's probably just hungry. I know, I'll feed it some of my villagers. I feel like my people need a constant reminder of who's in charge. So, every house is gonna be made in my image. My people love me. They'd never betray me. Can't say the same about the others. I heard Anastasia's running her country totally differently. Look, she built this huge arena and gets everyone to watch her fight. She's all about only the strongest will lead. So narcissistic if you ask me. She's even building this huge military force. For what? We have a peace treaty. She's so paranoid, but not everyone is meant to be a fighter. So what happens if they don't have the right skills? But hey, all I'm gonna say is her villagers didn't build her giant statues, am I right? And Yasir's country is even worse. He just lives in a regular house along with everyone else. Can you believe that? What's the point in even being a king? Look at this slacker. Ha! Yasir's gotta work double time to make up for the slackers. It'd be a shame if... <laughs> With all those slackers, they couldn't even harvest enough crops, and look, these people are starving. The ones that do work hard are getting mad because they don't get rewarded any more than the slackers. Looks like equality isn't all that he promised, huh? And don't even get me started about Varun's country, if you can even call it that. He's got everybody living in trees. Look, he just pooped on that guy's head and ran away. Worst part about this, his villagers love him, and they all end up copying him. Anyways, we can't stay cavemen forever. Look at this awesome castle my followers built me. You know, it's hard work being king. <coughs> what are you waiting for? Kill him! No, please, no, I have a family! See? My haters are always out to get me. Those who are useful to me get to live in my castle and have everything taken care of. And everyone else, they're happier than ever. I'm even making them build a wall around my castle just so I don't get too jealous of their happiness. Please, we're starving out here. What? Did you hear something? Hold on. Uh, I'll just... There we go. Just a mosquito. What? This Anastasia girl has got a whole jousting set up down here. What the? Someone set off an explosion in her country. The bomb left purple paint everywhere. I hope she doesn't think that I did this. Uh-oh. Looks like a civil war. 
The hard workers are tired of being treated the same as the slackers. Bruh, the lazy workers aren't gonna fight fair. Damn, that was quick. I guess lazy people work smart instead of work hard. So now Yasir only has lazy people left in his country. What's he gonna do? Shit. He made a court to punish anyone who doesn't follow his rules. We aren't so different after all, bro. Sure, Yasir's righteous enough, but what about his other judges? Looks like they'll be taking some bribes. What happened here? This whole place is wrecked! Also, where is everyone? Is that a trade caravan? Must be going from Anastasia's country to Yasir's country. That's nice of her to... What the? Varun's villagers are attacking it! Bam! I guess without any kind of structure, Varun's people have turned to robbery as the only way to survive! <laughs> I bet the others wish that they had just listened to me and worshipped me to begin with. Uh. What? What do you mean everyone's on strike? What have they done to my beautiful statue? I don't understand. I thought everyone was happy and loved me. I need to get to the bottom of this. Oh! We're starving to death out here! Ah, you guys are so ungrateful! I think for some reason that made them angrier. Run! And so, I set up a new system. Villagers can mail in their complaints and I, their noble god, would address them. Okay, eat dirt, nerd. Alright, well, that's just not constructive. Sheesh! Anastasia ain't playing! If her entire country is just military, then who's actually building these tanks? What? Are those planes flying in the parts for the tanks? The planes are coming from Yasir's country. They must have struck a trade deal since Yasir's economy was down bad after his civil war. But what's she offering Yasir? No way! Anastasia's warriors are helping Yasir enforce his court. That's how he's getting his lazy villagers back to work. I guess there's nothing in our peace treaty that says we can't trade with each other. Uh, did that just happen? This is bad. I don't think Anastasia's gonna just let this slide. But why would Yasir bomb her? Ah, your Highness, something terrible has happened. Ugh, how annoying. These villagers never stop complaining. No, it's not that. It's, remember him? What about him? He escaped before he was executed. Crap, this is bad. He might give away my secrets on how to run a super successful country to the others. Find him! So we sent a battalion of guards after him, but then... So you're telling me we stumbled right into a battle between Anastasia and Yasir's countries? There's more? After the battle, Varun's people came in and looted the place? That means he's got his hands on those tanks and planes too now. That's it. The peace treaty is broken. Get our people ready for war. Arm the troops, lock down the castle, and somebody get me a shield. Why, sir? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Damn, it's going down. Anastasia isn't alone out here. Sheesh! Varun's people filled their stolen tanks with poop, and they're firing it onto the battlefield. Anastasia's warriors are stepping out on foot. This is where it gets real. But where's Yasir? Oh, snap! His planes are busy bombing Anastasia's country. Wait. Didn't Varun steal a few of his planes too? No. He's dropping half his troops off and raiding my country. That's it. I may not have tanks or planes, but it's time to pull out my secret weapon, bruh. I come bearing a gift. Not? Ha ha ha! I hid my soldiers inside the statue. Now they're free to raid his country. This four-way war went on for seven days until all of our countries had finally had enough. Yasir called us to a neutral meeting ground to discuss a ceasefire, but... I've called this meeting because there's already been way too much blood. <laughs> That's when we had an unexpected intruder. Glenn! All of these so-called leaders have failed. Equality for all? A new law society? Only the strongest can lead? Or just a selfish dictator? All of these systems fell apart just with a little push from my end. If you are tired of all this meaningless bloodshed, it's time to elect a new god. Choose me, and I will be a god of the people. I will ensure there is never war like this again. So Glenn was pulling the strings all along. He's responsible for this war, but it's too late. <laughs> now lock up these fake gods. <laughs> A 
After that, Glenn combined all four countries back into one. He collected tax from every single villager only to use for his own vanity. My statue was way better. And anybody that tried to challenge him, let's just say they would mysteriously disappear. None of this would have happened if you didn't bomb my country. Bomb you? I would never. Maybe it was Varun who kept attacking your shipments to us. Damn, we needed supplies. Will you guys all cut it out? Can't you see we got played? Glenn turned us against each other. Then, when we were weak enough, he took over. I hate politics, fam, but I guess maybe having some rules wouldn't have hurted. <sighs> and I guess there's no such thing as equality for all. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish king, we could have had cool inventions like tanks and planes too. Fine, I guess only caring about strength can backfire. <laughs> <laughs> Get up! It's time! Glenn was planning to execute us that same day. He didn't want to take any risks with us. Such a shame that we couldn't see eye to eye until it was too late. Or was it? <laughs> What's going on? Search the area, now! But it was too late. We were already deep in the woods. Turns out that each of us still had a small, loyal group of followers. They saw through Glenn's fake promises and broke us out right before our execution. We were given a second chance, but there was still a major problem. We were heavily outnumbered, unless... Sir, you need to say this! You should have stayed in hiding! You think you can come at me with that pathetic excuse of an army? Ah! Now, Pino! Pino? I told y'all it was a good idea to feed him, and yeah, I named him Pino. Pino breaking the wall created the opening for Anastasia's soldiers to breach the castle. Nobody can mess with them in close quarter hand-to-hand -hand combat. Doesn't matter, you're surrounded. You'll never make your way up the castle. I'm going in. As if I'm gonna let you come close with that. Bam! Bruh, don't forget, Varun's people lived in them trees. Yasir, no! Hey, Glenn, you said it yourself. We're gonna vote for who we want to lead, right? Well, guess what? We just voted your out. 